Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the carburetor, first make sure the engine has cooled. Then remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. We recommend performing this procedure with little or no fuel in the tank. Now rotate the knob to release the air filter cover and pull the cover and filter off. Remove the breather hose from the air filter housing. Remove the nuts and bolts securing the housing. Slide the housing off of the mounting bolts and set it aside. Remove the gasket. Use locking pliers to crimp the fuel line. Release the clamp to remove the fuel line from the carburetor. Be prepared for some fuel to spill. Rotate the throttle arm and remove the throttle linkage and spring. Next, remove the screws to release the auto choke bracket. Detach the auto choke linkage. Now release the clamp to disconnect the vacuum tube from the carburetor. Remove the screws securing the vacuum assembly. and disconnect the linkage. You can now slide the old carburetor off of the mounting bolts and remove the gasket. You're now ready to install the new carburetor. Slide the new gasket onto the mounting bolts. Then slide the new carburetor into position. Replace the vacuum assembly by first inserting the linkage into the choke lever. Then replace the screws to secure the assembly. Attach the vacuum tube to the new carburetor and secure it with the clamp. Reinstall the auto choke linkage. Align the auto choke bracket on the carburetor and replace the screws to secure. Attach the throttle linkage and spring to the throttle lever. Slide the new gasket onto the mounting bolts. Attach the fuel line to the carburetor. Secure it with the clamp. and remove the locking pliers. Insert the bolt into the air filter housing. Slide on the spacer and reposition the housing. Thread and tighten the bolt and replace the nuts to secure. Attach the breather tube to the housing. Make sure the air filter is positioned in the cover. Insert the cover tabs into the slots in the housing, then close the cover and rotate the knob to secure. Reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug. Fill the tank with fuel and confirm that the engine runs properly.